Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited because today I'm going to be talking all about culling. And if you don't know what culling is, culling is going through all the photos that you took. And if you're anything like me, it's hundreds and quickly and easily picking which ones that you want to keep, or it might not be quickly and easily. You can cull and it be a painstaking task. But today I'm gonna show you how I do it quickly and easily. And I do it with a program called Photo Mechanic and I'll link below the link to that. It is a saving grace to make this super, super easy. Well, if we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Kayla Brent. I'm a motherhood photographer and founder of Mom Photography School, where I teach moms how to take beautiful everyday photos of their family. And something that I go over right off the bat is, calling because they take a lot of pictures and they need to be able to choose which ones that they want to keep and edit quickly. And another thing is calling or going through raw images is extremely difficult because they're raw files are massive, massive files. So when you're opening them up, it's slow to process. I don't care how fast your computer is, a raw file is massive. If you're going through them quickly, it goes through them really, really slow. With Photo Mechanic, it speeds up that process. So um, go ahead and check out, if you haven't already, the YouTube video that's all about raw versus JPEG and why you should be shooting in raw. Um, and then, after you watch that, come back to this one because it'll show you how, to, I'm gonna show you now how to go through those raw files quickly and easily. And if you've ever gone through raw files before on your computer, you know, this is an issue. So let's go ahead and hop into it now. Like I said, I use a program called Photo Mechanic and I'm gonna share my screen here and we will get started. Let's see, okay. So I'm in Photo Mechanic here and Photo Mechanic is, like I said, just a software that helps you look up your images and to see your images really, really easily and quickly. So what happens is whenever you put your SD card or whatever kind of card that you use into your computer, what will happen is it will come up, a screen will come up here. You can choose it that way. I always just look here, it's there, and I will go and find the images that I want. So here are some images here. We had a lot of snow. I'm from the Texas Arkansas line. So of course I went outside and I took pictures of my son. Now, all of these images are in raw, and I'm gonna show you what it would look like if I was to pull these up just on my computer here. So, and I'm gonna show you how fast, or not so fast it goes, which these are, here we go. Okay, a little spinny will of death and it's taking forever like it's already taking so long that i'm like okay i don't even want to show you all this but this totally shows of why we need photo mechanic because it takes a while to do this these each one of these is a 20 like this one's 24.8 megabytes okay finally it's coming up oh and look i chose an image that's out of focus go me i do this professionally anyways uh, but that is the reason that we need to call images faster and easier than this. Otherwise I'd be going through these all day long or having to look at really, really tiny images here. So cue photo mechanic. Here we go. So same types of images here, but now I can go through them quickly and easily. So I want to show y'all, let's go. Okay, these are so cute. And so my son and I can go through here and choose which ones I want. Now, as you're going through here, what I do, my first step is to mark them. And the way you do this is just by your keyboard. You can choose them however you want to. I always mark the ones I wanna keep as fives. So for instance, that one's so him. I don't see his face in these, so I don't want those as much. Love that. And you can go through them quickly and easily and do this. So this will be my first pass. And I'm just choosing these. That's my mom, his Nana playing with him. They're having the best time. Okay, so I've chosen some images. And now what I'm impressed, I'm pressing escape to get out of that. Now, as you can see, now some of them are marked green. So now I'm like, oh, okay, those are the ones that I, I liked. So what I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna file color class. 
And now it's gonna have all of my green photos or that I put five at, they're all together now. And you can go back through them, I always go the opposite way this time, and make sure those are the photos that I want to keep. For instance, these two are exactly the same. Which one do I want the most? And so I like the expression on my mom's face better in this one. So this next one, I'm gonna make it a one now and see it turned it that magenta color. So, and now I can keep going. So that is how I quickly and easily, and you can go back here, color class, and then it'll bring all of the colors together again. And then I can take these images, select them all and drag them to Photoshop, which Photoshop is my preference of editing software. I love Photoshop. I think it is far superior to Lightroom and that is a very unpopular opinion. And you can see all about that and hear me talk all about that in another video, but I will link that below. But that is how I cull my images. And then they, here they are, they're in Photoshop in Adobe Camera Raw and I can get to work. And those are all raw images. And I did that super, super quickly. So there you have it. There is how I cull my images, my raw images super easily, super quickly. And I use what's called photo, photo mechanic, which I have linked below. Let me know if there's another way that you cull your images or if you've ever struggled with this. If you, this has ever been a problem for you at all, I would love to know about it in the comments below. Let me know. Make sure that you check out my next video here. And if you haven't already, go check out my raw versus JPEG video. I have that link below as well. So you can know why you should always be shooting in raw. Until next time, friends. Bye.